Welcome. In front of me is a Motorola Moto G8 Plus and today I'll show you how to transfer files from the SD card to the phone or vice versa. So number one, I want to open up the files app, which will be right here. Let's tap on that. Continue. And from here at the bottom, you'll find the two storages. Disregard this. There we go. So you can see the two storages right here. So you have the internal and the SD card. Now, if you don't see your storages, you wanna tap on the three dots right here and where I have hide storage, let me just tap on it. Uh, like so. So you can see that there is no storage at the bottom anymore. And you want to tap right on the three dots and then show storage devices and then they will appear. So from here, I'm actually going to quickly capture a couple of photos. So I have something to uh, transfer as an example. I want to take a photo. It's uh, a good photo. There we go. Okay, so now I have a couple photos and let's go back to the files app. So uh, photos and videos that I have captured with the device will be lo always located under the DCIM folder. So it could be here, there it is. Um, so it looks like the device saves it straight to the phone, even though the SD card is inserted. Uh, so you can see that those are the screenshots that, or photos that I have captured right now. And Photos and videos, like I said, will be under DCIM folder. Downloads will contain anything that you have downloaded using a browser or your emails. Uh, movies and music will have, well, anything that you have actually placed there doesn't get placed there automatically. Uh, pictures has screenshots by default, as you can see. And that's about it. So to move the, the files that you wish to move, you want to select them so to select just hold one file and it becomes selected like this with the blue mark and you can tap on additional ones just to add them on so that is how you would individually select them now you can also select for instance entire folder itself so that's where the four photos are so i can select the entire folder along with all of its content and once it's selected with the blue mark i can tap on the three dots right here and i have two options either move or copy so move will completely remove it from where it is right now and move it to a new location while copy will just create an additional set of the same files so i'm going to choose move then you have a drop on the bottom and you have two places where you can move it so you have internal and sd card uh, now the photos right now are on the internal storage so i'm going to move them to the sd card and once you tap on it you will see the well, two folders that are only here now just to keep it organized i'm going to add a new folder by tapping on here allow and i'm gonna name it dcim as well just to keep it organized as long as it allows me and there we go so right now we're on the internal storage and that's previously where the photos were so if we go to the sd card now have the dcim folder that i have created and there are the four photos that i have moved and the same process goes for any kind of other file. Um, so yeah. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.